Hi guys! Welcome sa Indian Earth Math Channel. Sa video na to ay i-discuss ko ang prime factorization. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Prime factorization. So before we proceed sa process ng prime factorization, ay let's just have some concept. Prime factorization is the process of finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. So, from the word itself, ang prime factorization ay paghahanap ng factors ng number in such a way that itong mga numbers na to ay prime numbers lang. So, alam natin na yung prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors, namely one in itself. Anyway, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video ko about prime and composite number, pwede nyo muna itong panoorin para mas maging malinaw sa inyo yung concepts about prime and composite numbers. So, going back. So, yun nga. Ang goal ng prime factorization ay kailangan ma-factor out natin yung isang number gamit lamang ay prime numbers. So, kung may factor yung isang number na composite, Pwede pa natin i-factor out yung composite number into factors that are prime numbers, right? At i-continue lang natin yung process na yon hanggang sa lahat na nung factors, nung number na hinahanap natin ng prime factorization ay prime numbers. So, saan nga ba ginagamit yung prime factorization? So, mahalaga yung prime factorization kapag uh, hinahanap natin yung GCF or greatest common factors at LCM or least common multiples ng mga numbers. Kasi yung LCM at GCF ay magagamit natin sa fractions. Particularly sa pag-reduce ng fractions sa lowest term at pag-add or pag-subtract ng dissimilar fractions. So mahalagang alam natin yung concept ng prime factorization. So, illustrate na natin kung paano maghanap ng prime factorization ng number. So, halimbawa, So, find the prime factorization of 48. So, basically, meron tayong paraan kung paano hanapin ang prime factorization ng isang number. Ang pinaka-common ay yung using factor 3. So, factor 3. So, from the word itself, factor 3 meaning branch out natin yung numbers into its factors in such a way na lahat ng factors na yun ay eh, prime numbers nga since prime factorization. At kung yung specific branch of factor ay composite pa, then pwede pa natin i-branch out ng i-branch out hanggang lahat na ng factors ay prime. So, for example, let's try to use factor 3 to find the prime factorization of 48. So, in order for us to do that, sulat muna natin yung 48. And then, magdodrawing tayo ng dalawang line as if para silang branch ng 3. At dito sa dalawang line na to, isusulat natin yung factors ng 48. Preferably, pinipili nating factor sa isang branch ay prime number para automatic prime number na agad yung isang branch. So, ano ngayon yung obvious factor ng 48 na prime number? So, since 48 is even, it is divisible by 2 and 2 is a prime number, right? So, pwede na nating isulat sa isang branch ng factors ng 48 ang 2. And then, we can encircle it already to denote that it is already prime. And hindi na natin ito gagalawin. And then, the other branch. So, what factor comes with 2 for 48? So, ano yung multiply natin sa 2 para maging 48? 24, right? Since 48 divided by 2 is 24. Now, since 24 is still composite, Gaya nga na sinabi ko, kapag composite pa yung factor sa isang branch ay pwede pa natin itong hatiin sa dalawa or i-branch out pa. 
So again, isip tayo ng factors ng 24 na prime. Obviously, 2 uli, right? So, 2. So, bilugan ko na siya kasi prime number na nga siya. And then, what is the other factor for 24? That is paired with 2. 12, right? Since 24 divided by 2 is 12. So, again, 12 is not yet a prime number. So, we can still branch it out. So, ano ngayon yung prime number na factor ng 12? 2 uli, right? Kasi even number uli siya. So, 2. So, bilugan natin uli si 2 since prime number na siya. And then, the factor on the other branch must be 6 since 12 divided by 2 is 6. Again, 6 is not yet a prime number. So, pwede pa natin siyang i-branch out. So, makiging common prime number factor of 6 is 2, right? So, pwede na natin uling bilugan since prime number na yung 2. At, for the other branch, the factor must be 3 since 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, notice that 3 is already a prime number. So, therefore, we can already encircle 3. Kasi prime number na rin siya. So, since wala na tayong nakikita ang composite number, then tapos na tayo sa prime factorization. And all the encircled numbers are the prime factors of 48. So, pwede na nating isulat ang prime factors ng 48 as, so 48 is equal to, So, multiply lang natin lahat ng numbers na may bilog. So, we have 48 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So, the prime factor sa 48 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or, pwede rin natin isulat ito using exponent. So, paano yon? Since meron tayong apat na 2 as a factor, we can write it as 2 raised to the 4th power. This exponent of 4 nga, ito yung nagsasabi kung ilang beses naging factor yung specific number. In our case, 2. Since we have 4 2s in the prime factors, therefore the exponent is 4. And then, times... 3. Since once lang naman naging factor yung 3, no need to write exponent. Because automatically, the exponent is 1. Or another way of doing it, using factor 3 is, so we can write 48 first, and then branch out into 2, and we can write any factors of 48 without thinking whether it's a prime number or not. So, the first factors that come to my mind for 48 are 8 and 6. And since 8 and 6 are not yet prime numbers, I can still factor them using prime numbers. I can have two branches for 8 and put factors of it. The obvious factors of 8 are 4 and 2. So, we can now encircle 2 since it is already prime. But 4 is not yet, right? So, we can still branch out 4 factors of 4. So, I will draw again 2 branch for two factors of 4. So, what are the factors of 4? 2 and 2, right? And since these two factors of 4 are already prime, I can encircle them already. So, we're done with 8. Now, let's proceed with 6. So, like what I've said, 6 is not yet prime, right? So, we can still 
factor out 6 using prime numbers. I can draw again two branches for, for two factors of 6. So the obvious factors of 6 are 2 and 3. And as we see, 2 and 3 are already prime numbers. So I can encircle them already. And now we're done. To write the final answer, we can write 48 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So therefore, we also got the same answer using our first solution. And we can rewrite it as 2 to the 4th times 3. Aside from factor 3, there's another process of finding the prime factorization of a number. And it is the so-called long division. So from the word itself, we will do long division process to find the prime factors of a number. So again, let's use 48 as an example. So in using this process, we will write 48 first, and then we will use the symbol L. We will put 48 inside the symbol L. And then we will think of obvious factor of 48 that is prime. So it is to write, and we will write it here on the left side of 48 and then we will divide 48 by this factor 48 divided by 2 is 24 right and we will write the answer below 48 and then we will write again another l enclosing 24 and then we will think again of prime number that is factor of 24 so the obvious prime number is 2 again right and then let's divide again 24 by 2 24 divided by 2 is 12 right and then we will again write down L then think again of a factor of 12 that is prime number Obviously, 2 again, right? So, divide 12 by 2. The answer is 6. And then, put again a letter L symbol and closing 6. Then, think again of factor of 6 that is prime. 2, right? So, write again 2 on the left side of 6 and then divide 6 by 2 the answer is 3 now notice that 3 is already a prime number so no need for us to write the L symbol anymore and then we end up doing the division process since all the numbers on the left side of the symbol L are prime as well as the last quotient that we have which is 3 therefore for the long division process they are the prime factors of 48 and we can write it again as 48 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or 2 to the 4th power times 3. Therefore, either way, we will still obtain the same answer. It's up to you what method or what process of finding prime factorization is easier for you to do. So I hope you learned something from this video and 
Thank you for watching.